There we go. I just realized I was muted. How's it going, guys? Um, just testing the live stream now. Sorry, it'll just seem like go. a... I just yeah. I was muted. That's much better. So sorry about that. The mic was flashing and I was like, oh, why can't I hear myself in the live stream? Hey, Jessica, how you doing? You all right? I hope you're doing well. Um, today we're going to be doing our Portal Knights live stream. This will be our third live stream that we've done during uh, or done regarding Portal Knights. I'm actually pretty excited about this one because we're going to be doing the High Rift and trying to basically chest hunt. I've got most of the chests pretty much knocked down now, like I know where they are, but uh, on the later levels, I'm not entirely sure. So I just want to show you guys the, the ranger I've got for the rifts because he is actually custom designed for the rifts. So let's just have a quick look. I'm not too bothered about the actual stats that I've got here. Like um, these are just the same stats as my, um, uh, what's it called, Mubu Ranger. But um, the equipment is probably what's the more important, actually. So if we just go into the equipment here, you can see that I've got the um, Plunderous Helm, which obviously gives us the multi-strike. I've also got the Elimination Jerkin, again, multi-strike, and one additional strike. Um, and the, the Greaves are the same, or the Gauntlets, sorry, are exactly the same. What's really important is probably the Cape, which we're using as the Cape of Wings, which gives us more jump, um, which makes us jump higher. And the Ceaseless Champion Leggings, which gives us a double jump as well. Uh, and allows us to jump over like the walls and stuff in the levels. Now, I've just realized I've not tweeted, so I'm just going to tweet now that I'm going live. I probably should have done that previously uh, before we get started. So, hey guys. Just going live. Come and say Hi. And that's www. Now I should actually have this all prepared, so I do apologize. Uh, I'm still getting used to the whole thing, so once I get it all sorted, I will get this all streamlined, should we say. Uh, copy link. And if it lets me paste, which is not. Oh, I don't know why that's not. Not working. Paste. There we go. Thank you. There we go. All right. Okay. So that is it. Been tweeted out as well. So let us go into the rifts. So as I say, we're going to be doing the rift uh, chests, and I've got most of them. And there is actually an achievement for the rifts. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm pretty sure the achievement is if you get all the chests or you find all the chests without dying, um, or maybe not specifically without dying, but without. Um, without basically losing time, because that is the part of the rifts, you are timed as well. So if we go into our map here, and we just go straight to the rifts, and we're going to be going to the high rift. Anyway, I hope we're all having a wonderful day. I uh, appreciate it's quite late for a lot of people, so uh, don't worry if you have to go to bed or whatnot. Um, it's just probably the easiest time that I can actually live stream, because both of my kids are in bed. Uh, my wife's usually um, studying at this time as well, so it's very much easy for me just to jump on and do a live stream. And here we are. This is our first main rift area. Uh, let's just take some of these guys out. Now, I did actually get what I was after. I was after a specific item for the rifts because it does give you an item for warriors or the warrior class, which has like multi-strike as well. It's really, really good. And uh, which one's this one? I think the chest is on the right. Over here, yes it is. So first chest down. There's actually two chests per level as well, which is really cool. Um, and we can actually, if you notice that we've got the double jump and stuff as well. So what we're actually looking for on top of the chests, and I just used one of our scrolls and I didn't actually mean to, is we're looking for these little crystals as well, because these crystals are used to buy the armor that you can get using this, um, that one of, this DLC, because it is part of one of the DLCs for Portal Knights. Is it through here? I want to say it's through here. Yeah, I was right. I was like, I'm wondering which one it was. I knew it was through one of them, but I just couldn't quite remember. So let's open that up. Chest number two. And that is both the chests. And you've also got to um, unlock this thing. I don't actually know what this is called, but you can... Oh, uh, Dispel Obelisk. So it's an obelisk. You can actually craft the obelisk trophy, which is really cool. I did craft that using the uh, shards that we're picking up right now. And it's absolutely awesome. The actual minions are the mobs, sorry. They actually drop these souls as well. And one of the one of the um, things you can craft using the souls is a really, really cool looking pet. 
of one of the mobs that you actually see in the rifts. Now, it's so expensive. It's so difficult to get. But that is the end goal, folks. That is what I'm really after at the end. If we can do that in this live stream, I will be really happy. But so far, I have not been able to complete the rifts without dying. I've either been... Or without losing time, I've either been interrupted or I've just not been able to do it, basically, because I've not been able to find a chest, which is very, very annoying. The chests do make a noise. So if you ever are looking for a chest, they do actually make noise, um, like a kind of shimmering noise, which you can listen out for. But as I've not really got my audio up all that high right now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hear it, but we'll see uh, in a moment. Uh, let's go down here. Oh, there's one. These are extend your time. What are these called? Rift stability uh, squares, cubes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they actually extend the time, so I'm going to use them while I can. Let's go over here. Oh, man. I'm trying to think of this one. What do I do in this one? Oh, yeah. I know where they are. <laughs> I just think there. It's actually been a couple of days since I've been playing the rifts, so I wasn't entirely sure if I'd remember where the chests are, but I think we're good. I actually do think we're... Oh, didn't mean to do that. I actually think we're good. So let's go over here for the first chest. And the second chest. My mind has gone blank. I think it's actually through here. I think there's like a little hole in the wall. Maybe not. Maybe there's not a little hole in the wall. Maybe it's behind here? Or is it through here? Yeah, it's through there. I knew it was somewhere like that. I knew you had to dig a hole. I just couldn't exactly remember where, but that's fine. So that's the chest number two. And uh, what we need to do as well is open up this door because there's switches on these doors. The little hand switches, the little green switches. And I think that's it over to that side. So the first levels are actually pretty easy to navigate. They're quite small. Um, there's actually one or two difficult ones. Like if you don't know where you're going, they are quite difficult and they can use up quite a lot of time. But I think we'll be all right. Uh, the first, there's like four zones, or three or four zones in the rifts as well, the high rift anyway. Um, and the later on ones, they just get so flipping difficult, man. Like, really, really difficult, especially if you don't know where you're going, which I don't because I don't know the later ones all that well. So hopefully we'll be able to hear the chests if we can't find it. But I mean, that's why we're doing this. We're trying to learn the levels and see how far we get whilst getting as many crystals as we possibly can and not dying of course that's always a bonus and let's oh we dropped a soul let's go over here and go for this one so that's quite a lot in here i didn't realize how many levels there were oh i know this one i know this one this one's quite easy press the switch there come down here oh everybody's having a wonderful day by the way this is um I know with the, it's tough times with the coronavirus going on everywhere. Everybody seems to be obsessed with the coronavirus. You can't actually buy toilet roll right now, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, I don't know what people are doing. Are they eating it? I really don't know. Um, luckily, we have some in the house. Because if we didn't, we would be struggling. Let's put it that way. We would be struggling big time. But uh, no, luckily, we already had some in the house. But it's absolutely crazy how, how crazy people get during situations like that. Just bulk buying toilet roll. Who knew? That was the thing people were going to bulk buy. It's absolutely crazy. Exile of Sin. How you doing, man? Uh, it's easier multiplayer, but at the same time, your time depletes faster. Well, I'm up to giving multiplayer a chance once I have completed this one, if I do. Um, I don't know if I have you on Steam, though. Um, I, I can invite you in if you're up for it. Uh, if not, that's cool as well. How you doing anyway? You all right? Have fun at work. Finish now. Just let me know if I'm coming through too loud or I'm too quiet. I have the tendency of uh, shouting. I don't mean to, <laughs> but I have the tendency of shouting while I'm live streaming and recording. And again, I really don't mean to. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, man. I'm really good, thanks. Uh, I've got a little bit of a cold. No, it's not corona, don't worry. Um, it's just a sore throat. But uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of a cold. It is going around, unfortunately, this time of year and all that jazz. Let's get these crystals. Now, as I was saying earlier, I've got um, I've got most of the chest locations down. Like I'm, I'm really have been practicing the rifts, but uh, the later on ones, I don't really know them all that well. Uh, oh, I'm not. I'm used to using a controller on my home TV as well, or on, of course my home TV on my TV. Don't know what other sort of TV it would be. Uh, sounds good to me. Work was okay. 
all down you sound fine good 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 it took absolutely ages to get this live stream started i was having so so many difficulties getting the live stream actually going because i am um, stream with uh, g stream i don't know if you've heard of that it's the nvidia's product uh, it's really really awkward like you can start a stream and then you can unlist it and stuff but then you have to put your thumbnail up and you, then you have to resume it again it really is quite tricky i'm thinking about changing the platform that i stream on or uh, the, the application sorry that i use to stream because this is just getting way 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 too fiddly but it seems to be working for now uh, chest number one we'll just do the obelisk while we're here get these crystals and chest number two is through here now you notice i didn't flick the switches at the start because if you flick the switches uh, that door down there actually locks and you can't get through it which is really annoying a quick uh, tip for you guys if you're doing this level is you can just stand on the obelisk jump up and teleport away which is quite cool <laughs> discovered that one completely by accident and um, but it does save a little bit of time not all that much but a little bit enough to make a difference anyway We'll take that as well. I should be using my rift. Uh, what's it called? Um, scrolls actually right now because they they you can't use them over and over again. So I really should be using them. But let's go through here and then I'll use it in a sec. <coughs> Excuse me. Number eight. There we go. I don't need the rockets that are in those chests because I do have the double jump. And number four. I am used to doing this with a controller. I need to get used to the mouse and keyboard again. I actually thought about this area right here, the spawner. If you're ever looking for souls, what you could do is just stand here if you've got enough time and just kind of kill the things that are coming out of the spawner as long as you don't shoot the spawner. And then you could get as many souls as you really want. You could probably farm souls as long as you have time. Like say this was your last level and you had a bit of time left. You could just stand there and farm souls. It would be awesome. And I think that's probably what they intended with the spawners there, to be honest. But um, I don't know. don't know if that's just my idea or if other people have come up with that as well. Possibly. It's literally always somebody that's come up with something in Portal Knights. Um, but yeah, I thought about that. Doing a wee bit of uh, spawn killing and getting some souls. Don't know if it would work. It would be handy if you had multiplayer and you had some guy dedicated to that. So some guy, quite literally, all his job is, is to spawn killing the souls or getting the souls. And uh, that way you've got loads of souls, so just a thought. And right, let's jump down here and kill ourselves. Actually, we're not going to kill ourselves, but it will hurt. Uh, and head back up here. And again, there's another spawner here, so if you had three people, you could have one person at one spawner, another person at the other spawner, and you get absolutely rakes of souls. And in one of the other levels, there's actually an Arantula. Is that how you pronounce it? The spiders, basically. There's a spider spawner, and each spider actually drops two souls. Um, so that is a real good way of getting souls in this high rift. But uh, again, probably something somebody's already thought about. Now let's head through here. And... Did we do both chests? No, we didn't, because the other chest is down here. And chest number two. Beautiful. We're actually doing really well. We're off to a great start. I'm not sure how many levels we have left in this area. But I don't think it's many, if there is any at all. And we're just going to jump down here and probably die, maybe. No, it actually took off way less health than I thought it would. And have I got any levels that I've not done? It's kind of avoid those guys there anything through here there's this guy he drops loads of crystals i want to get them i'm just making sure that i've not actually missed any levels and i could probably harvest some souls as well if we've got nothing else to do while the time runs out so we'll do that we'll harvest some souls we might as well while we can because i do want that pet but again i don't know how you can get enough crystals and enough souls to get the pet without running out of time. So we'll see. But the pet does look absolutely awesome. Is that everybody here? No, there's one. Hey, buddy. Give me your soul. I think that... Oh, no, there's somebody down there. Oh, I crashed into him, so he didn't drop anything. I think that's it. 
I don't think there's anything else. There is chests that you can open, but they don't really contain anything all that exciting. I and mean, you're talking blocks and stuff like that. Not really all that exciting. <coughs> Extraction weapons help. Yeah, that's the other thing I'm saving up for. So, of course, there's the pet, which is awesome. But I think to get the pet, you probably do need the extraction weapons. And if you're wondering, if anybody else is wondering what the extraction weapons are, they're basically weapons that are designed for the rift, pretty much. Um, they You attack something and if you kill it, there's a chance that it's going to drop these crystals that we're looking for. And uh, that will help. Now, I've never used one, so I don't know how good they are. I don't know how many crystals they drop. But uh, yeah, definitely a thought that I've had. Um, regarding this, especially if you want the pet, is extraction weapon. And I think to get the bow, it's something ridiculous, like 3,000 crystals, or maybe even more crystals, actually, and, like, the same amount of stone. It's absolutely crazy. And I keep pressing that button by accident. Luckily, I've got loads of spare. But, yeah, I keep pressing that by accident. Let's go through here. And, ooh. <laughs> Did you know that scroll that I pressed by accident? For some reason, it actually worked while I was outside this world, and uh, it, it showed these blocks. Now, I didn't realize that would happen. So, I guess the world, technically, they're all linked, and you're actually just in one big world, except from you have to go through the portal to get through it. That's cool. I didn't actually think about that, but that is, that's a cool discovery. Uh, let's get this one. So we don't actually need to go down those blocks. We can just jump. And jump up here. I'm just trying to think where the other chest is here. I think, it actually, I don't think we need to get it until right at the very end. Ooh, and there's a crystal there. Or a cube. I don't really know what they're called. I read it earlier. What are they called again? Let's have a look. Rift Stability. Now, I don't know. Rift Stability sounds a bit weird. Rift Stability Cube? Sounds better. We're going to call them Rift Stability Cubes for now. Uh, I do like the sound of that. Let's open this up, get replenish our chests, uh, scrolls, sorry. So, one per three, five, seven percent. The It's from damage, not killing. Oh, really? So, the more damage you do, the more um, crystals you get? Is that right? Because I'm doing quite a bit of damage, but if you're a warrior, you do even more damage. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I just made it there. I thought I was falling to my death there. That would have, that would have been no. Now I am. <laughs> but at least I got the, I got the chest. I'm not too bothered about falling there. I got the chest. That's all good. Let's go through here, uh, and let's go and get that rift stability cube, and we'll get the one down here as well. And there's actually a level down here. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, oh, which one's this one? I know which one this one is. So the one of the chests is over here so we'll just do that one straight away we might as well while we're here and the other one's on top of here so this one's actually a really easy one um but there is some crystals we can get here as well i think i think i don't 100 percent know but i think there is so if we go down here no oh no it's down this side actually there is there is crystals we can get they're just right down here and we've got them beautiful hey buddy Space Maggot, how you doing? And I might as well kill this guy while I'm at it. Get the get the soul that he's going to drop. They aren't very powerful, so I'm not going to waste all that much time. And what we can do as well is use our scroll stability and get even more rift time, which is awesome. And I think I got them all. So let's head through here now. Now we just need to make sure we get all the levels. And the problem is I do really well up until about the third area and then it just goes downhill from there so I always start off this well like I can do pretty well up until past just past this point and then things start getting hairy because I don't actually know where any of the oh, I did it again I don't actually know where any of the crystals are not the crystals the uh, chest sorry so we'll see um exile of sin 357 is due to the wrist uh, sorry 357 it's due to the rift difficulty. You crafted it from... Should have explained better. It's a percentage whilst damaging enemies. Not depend... Oh, right. Right, 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 right. I see, I see what you're actually saying. So 3%, 5%, and then 7%, depending on which rift you craft it in. So if you craft it in the roll lift, the low rift, it's 3%. If you craft it in the middle rift, 
it's 5%, and then the high rift, it's 7%. I get it. I get it. I haven't actually crafted um, any of the low rift weapons yet. I probably should, because uh, that would be really handy to have that percentage boost. But uh, we'll see. I think it's through here. Yes! Now, I struggled with that one. I struggled with that one for ages. I couldn't find it, and then I thought, do you know what? Let's just dig up some dirt and see if there's like a hidden bit underneath it. And right enough, there was. Uh, so I'm so chuffed that we found that straight away because I wasted so much time in this one one other time. And it actually cost me the, all of my rift time just trying to find it. Quite a lot of the levels, to be fair, have cost me all of my rift time at one point or another to find the chest. But um, in this instance, we're doing really well because I've already spent all the time trying to find it. Uh, let's go through here now. The question is, where is my other chest? Please don't say that I can't find it, because I would really like to be able to find it. Uh, oh, there's it. I can see it. How do I get to it? So there is a green switch somewhere. Where on earth is this green switch? Now, I think I found it before, but the question is, where did I find it? So green switch is not through there. It's through here. There it is. Sneaky! Hiding a hidden object next to an other hidden object is very, very sneaky. Right, let's head over this way. I think I took the long way there. Probably shouldn't have, but I didn't really think about it. Open that up. Beautiful! So we got two chests open, and now we can just head out. And I've only got two other levels to do in this area, and we've still got loads of time, so I'm not too worried. But it does, does make me panic a little bit. When I do get to that stage and I'm like, oh, where's the switch? Where's the switch? Um, and there has been many a time that I've done that. Uh, ooh, is it down here? There's a switch over here. Yeah, there is. That's that one. And the, one of the other chests, I think, is behind here. Not behind it, but there's like an opening. Gosh, I can't really even remember in all this. This is awesome. Right, go through here, and this is one of the chests. This one, this level, man, took me forever to find the switches. And again, it's the it's the hidden switches to open the doors. It's not so much the chest. Sometimes you can find the chest quite easily. It's knowing how to get them. And this is actually the level with the spider spawner. So it's a spider spawner I was telling you about. So if somebody was to stay, stand at the spider spawner and just kind of harvest souls... Uh, then you'd be laughing. You really would be laughing. Because um, you get tons. You get loads and loads. So we might as well get as many as we can while we're here. Because we only have one other level to do. So let's go over this way. What we could do... No, I should have saved this one for last. Because what we could have done is done this one last and just quite literally used up all of our time to get the spider crystals. Not crystals. Souls. Sorry. I'm talking absolute nonsense. As per usual. But yeah, the spider souls. Because they dropped two. And that's really valuable. That's beautifully valuable. Are they here? Oh, hey, guys. I was just talking about you. <laughs> Get all those juicy souls. We might as well just destroy it. If we don't have enough souls by the end of this, then we know what we're talking about. We know what we've got to do. Die, please. And give me that beautiful beautiful soul and let's head through here and I think that leads us straight to the exit which I love when it does that not when it makes you walk miles to get to the exit uh, excuse me while I drink a little glass of water there um, and last one I think is it the last one yeah it is last one we've just got enough time to do it probably let's see what happens oh do I know this one yeah I think we're okay so one of the chests is over here. Question is, am I going to be able to find the next one? Because the next one, I cannot think where it is. Now that either means it's super easy to find, and that I didn't have to think about it, which means I probably didn't remember where it was. Or I never found it, in which case I died in this level. But I can't remember which one it is, and that's really annoying. First green switch pressed, and there's it. That's why I couldn't remember where it is, because it is super easy to find. There we go. So we actually found both the chests on this one as well. We are cooking with gas. Cooking with gas. 
which is an expression that makes me envious because I don't actually have a gas cooker and I wish I did. It's an electric cooker I've got, which is pretty rubbish actually. If you've ever had a gas cooker and then you have to go to electric, I know this is ran this is a tangent now, but um, yeah, it's really rubbish. Not not very good. It doesn't heat up very fast, and you can't really make fried rice, which I absolutely love, on an electric cooker. You can, but it's not as nice and because it, it's not as hot. And anyway, tangent over. I wish I had a gas cooker. That's all I'm trying to say. And let's open this up. Don't know why I'm saying open it up because you don't actually open it up. Good. And this is what I'm talking about. You have to walk a mile to get back to the actual start. I don't like that. I wish it would just take you straight back to the start once you press the thing. Um, I think that's it. I think we're actually yeah we're we're done all of them on this one and we're going into the next one and the next one's actually a confusing one because it's just a level with three of these those obelisks mm. what am i doing that's not what i meant to do i meant to go into down there oh my gosh i need to get down there <laughs> oh my gosh i can't believe i did that what was i thinking what was i actually thinking anyway we made it we made it that's fine God, I can't believe I did that. I was like, oh, I'll just go over here to this teleport pad and then I'll go into one of the levels again. And oh, wait, that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, here we are. So this is this is um, the level I was talking about. This is like a level in on itself that has three of the obelisks in it. Oh, hey, guys. You kind of just jump over there. It's never happened before. What was that all about? Uh, let's get these crystals. And if you, you know, if you know where you're going, which I kind of do here. And I kind of don't, I, I do muddle through it. If you know where you're going, you can actually get through this really quickly. But if you don't know where you're going, and you muddle through it, then you still have a bit of time left over, but um, not a lot. So we'll see how we do on this one. I find the first chest, and that's actually a good start. And the question is, where do I go now? Through there? Or through here? Let's go through here. and see where this leads. See where this takes us. There was a chest back there. But, uh, no, I'm, I'm okay where we're going right now. Let's go here and let's go left first before we go and try and open that door. Let's go left first. There is a blue switch and, yes, stairs. I love stairs because usually stairs mean there's something good up here. And there is. And it's got crystals. Thank you. And I'll take these bombs as well because these are super handy. And actually, you can use the bombs if you really wanted to, to get the crystals free from the walls and stuff, but I don't really think it speeds things up all that much. Although it is a recommendation some people make. Um, but again, I don't think it speeds things up all that much. I think as long as you have a good drill and you aim it properly, you'll be alright. Uh, let's head through this door. And there's the second obelisk. There's one more. But I'm just trying to think where it is. Where are we going to end up here? Is this, um, is this back to where we started? I think it might be. Yeah, it is. Totally back to where we started. So this was the place I was like, oh, I don't want to go through there yet. Um, but I've not found... Have I done both chests? I don't think I have. I've not found the second chest. I've found the third obelisk. But the second chest is through here. Awesome. And we've done it. We've got loads of time left over. What could I do with all that time? Probably nothing. Hey, V Sun, how you doing? How's it going? You all right? Having a good day? I hope you are. And um, let's go through here. So that's it. We've got both chests, all three obelisks, and this is where I'm going to lose it. <laughs> because this is where I don't actually know what I'm doing past this point. So we're just going to have to stumble through it and hope that we can we can make it through basically let's see what happens oh man i'm a wee bit nervous now actually i'm not gonna lie we were nervous because uh, i think we're gonna struggle oh this is the no this is the crafting area this is all good this is all good what i do like to do while i'm here though is you can have a wee breather so if you need to take a break and, and go and do the toilet or Go make yourself some dinner. You can kind of hang out, hang tight here because there's no rift timer here. And uh, this, so this is a good pause area because you can't actually pause the game while you're in the rifts. At least not that I've been able to be, been able to do. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but I've not been able to do it. What I do like to do while I'm here is buy 
all the potions because they're all awesome potions. Like you're talking potions that take absolutely an eternity to craft and I just tend to buy them all up. I might as well buy them all up, I've got enough money. But that's beautiful, beautiful potions, not many. But um, if you keep buying them, you get absolutely loads. And what I want to do is sell a few things. So we'll sell these and sell, is there anything else? Just sell the blocks that I've basically picked up along the way. Don't really need them. They probably could be useful at one point or another, but I want to make sure that I have enough inventory space for all those beautiful, beautiful crystals that we're trying to pick up. Uh, and I have actually loads of inventory space and probably what we'll do while we're break, Matthias Anderson, how you doing, mate? Hello, I may ask, uh, may I ask what you do to enjoy the end game content? I feel I've come to a point where there's nothing to do anymore. Well, that depends, mate. What have, you, have you bought the DLCs? Have you built an epic build? I mean, a lot of Portal Knights is building, so if you're not really into that, um, then you might not enjoy it as much. But uh, I guarantee you, my friend, if you play with some buddies and you do the rifts and you do the the relic defense. Um, then you'll enjoy the game an awful lot more. I actually enjoy just playing it myself, doing those different things. But I mean, I, I, I do a lot of content on Portal Knights, so I enjoy it that way as well. Um, you know, by doing the content, it really does um, urge me on to play the game even further and discover what little hidden things there are. And uh, I don't know if you've been following my Twitter or anything, but I've actually been doing an all items map. So uh, my goal is to collect all the items, so that's kind of spurring me on as well and um, with Portal Knights the developers are always always adding new things in so if you're bored of it now give it a few months and I guarantee you there'll be like a new update or something that'll add something new to the game might not be something you're interested in but uh, again they're always looking for uh, for suggestions if you have any and um, you can just put it on their discord or whatever and they'll they're usually really good at listening um, and they're good at replying as well, which is something you don't find with many developers, or at least their community managers are good at uh, replying for them, should we say. Uh, let's go... Well, I guess we'll just go straight in this one, right? So it's right there. There is one down there as well. But we'll do that one last. Oh no, I hate this one. I absolutely hate this one. I don't know what to do in this one. No, I do. I do. It, it took forever. This one is really annoying. Because it, it, make, it makes you think basically, oh, there's loads of stuff at the top. Maybe we'll do it all up top. But it's not up top. All the stuff's down the bottom. And that's where all the good stuff is. Say, like in here, there's some crystals. <laughs> Which, again, I used all my time in this level the first time I played it. Because I didn't have a clue where I was going. And I was quite literally destroying the map to try and find... There's two switches hidden here. And I was quite literally destroying the map to try and find the two switches. It took me about three turns on this level. Three turns to find all of the switches, which, if you think about it, is pretty crazy. But they're really well hidden, or at least I thought they were well hidden, but now I'm thinking about it. Probably not so much, because there's one, and it's through that little hole there. And I just need to make sure that we check all these little grooves in the wall, basically. Because I know there's another one hidden down here somewhere. But yeah, very, very annoying one. I got stuck on this one, as I say, about three times. And I can actually... Do you know what's even more annoying? It's just as we were passing there, I can see the glow of the switch. That has never happened before that I've seen the glow of the switch. But this time, I've seen it. And that's switch number two. There we go. And that was, that was it. That's how easy this one is. But again, if you don't know what you're looking for, and you don't know where it is then you're going to really struggle, which is what happened to me. And I think that should be our door open. Yeah, there we go. So that's the first door open. And I hacked up all, all of back here. I hacked all into that. Um, and I still couldn't find the switches because it was obviously wrong. Is that the chest or is that an actual crystal? That's the chest. But now we should have door number two open up here with chest number two. So that took all of a minute. That took like... A minute? Oh, maybe more than a minute. Maybe three minutes, something like that. But still, that took way shorter time than I had I initially when I first played this level. And actually, too much time still, because look at our meter. So I'm going to use one of our stability uh, scrolls, which I keep forgetting about. Um, and I shouldn't forget about them, because as I say, they run out. And if you use them constantly, you'll be getting more and more time. But um, So you have to really keep an eye on them when they run out, which I'm really bad at doing, apparently. 
So that's the first one done. There is another one down here. And there probably will be some um, stability cubes down here as well. So we might as well use them if we see them. We will have a look for them in a moment. But first, let's go through this portal. And I probably won't know this one all that well, if at all. Nope, not a clue. Oh my gosh. What am I going to do here? Do I hack into these walls? I mean, what do I do here? There's a there's a stability cube. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right. I have a funny feeling there's something in here. So like a switch. Something in the back of my mind is telling me there's like a switch in here somewhere. Or maybe not so much in here. But in another area, let me just check. There's nothing behind here. Because this looks sneaky. Like this looks like it could be dug into. Nope. Not in there. It must be another one. There, there is one like this, though, that you kind of have to uh, dig into the wall. Or you, it's, again, another crevice in the wall that you can go through. Oh, these guys. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Go away. Go away. Let's get these crystals. Now, are the crystals on the wall there because I have to dig through this wall? Nope. Apparently not. What about this one? No. I would have found it by now. See, it's sneaky. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. There's something in here. Or is there two things in here? There's something over here. A chest. Nice. So chest number one. Which is awesome. Uh, but there's also something else as well. Is it down here? Yes. Red switch. Cha-ching. Now, is that the only switch? Or is there more than one? Is there anything up here? No. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Come on. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting time here. Let's get these crystals here. Anything through here? Nope. Oh, I almost went through the edge. I almost was so close to falling through the edge. Oh, no. Where's the other red switch? It must be. Must be in the other area. It must be in this one. Red switch number two. Where on earth are you? Uh, don't know. I don't know. Is it in here? Please be in there. Nope. I, I think it should be in here somewhere. Because what? Oh, there's it. There's it. Whew. That was that was time wasting. If ever I've seen any time wasting. But um, anyway, let's just go. Let's get out the heck out. Let's get the heck out of dodge. Let's just get out of here. That's why the double jump is super handy. We need to get the to the door. Where is it? Oh, we're wasting so much time. We are wasting so much time. But now, for the future reference, I know where it is. Where am I going? I'm going through here. Oh, we're wasting so much time there. Right, so. What was that over on the right? That was weird. Uh, let's just, don't worry about stuff right now. Let's just go through here. And even if we have to get into the next area, we can at least get into the next area if we complete this one. This one... I think I know this one. I think I know this one. We're going to do that a different. We're going to do that way last. If I go through here. And there's something hidden in here. Something hidden in one of these. I know exactly where it is. So what we'll do is we'll go up there first. And then we're going to come back here. And I'll show you why in a second. We are going to come back here. Don't worry, I will read comments in just a moment. I'm sorry, so sorry, guys. I'm not reading comments. I'm just trying to get through this without losing our time here. So there's a hidden area through here, which I think has chest number one. Yes. Yes. Chest number one. And if we go back through this way without dying, and we go down here, which is the area I was telling you we're going to go back to, and we dig here, I think it is. Yes! We go down here. Now, there's chest number two. But not only is there chest number two, there's actually a shortcut to this area here. Which is awesome. It takes you straight back there. And you don't have to, like, jump that. Which is really, really cool. And I think that's this open over here. So the problem is, now we've ran out of time. Um, so we have to go through the next portal. We don't really have a choice in the matter. We pretty much have to go through the next portal. Unless I can find loads of these cubes. Which there is one over here right enough. That's one. Is there more than one? And I could use my scroll. 
That probably was a waste because if we have to jump through, we just wasted a scroll. And there's another cube up there. I feel like, oh, and there's like two levels we've not been through. That's crazy now. There's two levels we haven't been through. Really? There's another cube though. So maybe these levels will have like something in them. So let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. We've got enough time to go through one more level. Maybe. Oh, it has to be this one, doesn't it? So chest number one is there. And chest number two is well remembered Graham. Number three? Uh, what well, number three? <laughs> what am I talking about? Chest number two was through there. Can't believe I remembered that. And then, where's the obelisk? I'm not even going to worry about the crystals right now. I'm just quite literally looking for chests and just trying to get out this level. Oh gosh, there's a, a switch. What did that do? It opened that over there. Good, 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 good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Right, let's go through there. There's so many crystals here that I'm missing. But we are, again, we're just trying to get through it. Trying to get all the chests. So there we go, we've opened it up. We've got a little bit more time there. But I don't think we're going to make one more floor. We could try. I might die, but who knows. Let's see. Uh, oh, chest number one's up there. Again, don't worry about these guys. They're just quite literally there to take up your time. So don't worry about them. Uh, switch is over here. I really do wish I had more time to collect all these crystals. And what's through here? Is there a chest through here? Yes, there is. My gosh. We may actually do this. We may be alright. Um, oh, we have to kill all these guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, and I'm almost dead. Need those hearts. Need those hearts. Last thing I want to do is die right now. There we go. Woo! Woo! We'll get a little bit more time by pressing this. And I have a sneaky suspicion that we've still got one level to do. And we've probably just ran out of time, unfortunately. But uh, let's just have a quick peek around. Maybe not. Let's just get to the portal, which is where? Where on earth is this portal? Where is the portal? Do 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 do. I don't actually know. It's a little bit nerve wracking. Is that it over there? What is it doing up there? Oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. Oh, it's way over there. It's way over there, and I am running out of time. Am I gonna make it? Come on, get there quicker. Quicker, 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 quicker. <laughs> so short. I was so close. I was so close, man. Oh, that is that's gut wrenching. That is right there. That's pretty gut wrenching. Let's have a look at comments before we have a look at what we can actually craft. Um, so, do you know if the devs are working on more content? I mean, how hard can it be to add more hard modes to uh, or difficulties? More relic defenses and hard modes. We do a lot. To be honest, Relic Defense has only just come out. <laughs> so so they have only just added Relic Defense, but I'm sure if it's popular, they will add more levels, no doubt. And yes, they're always working on new stuff. 100% always working on new stuff. Um, relic Defense is good grinding content. If it was more to it, as I said, more hard modes. Yeah, I mean, I had a few ideas for the Relic Defense as well, but um, yeah, I don't really know. I, I do like the Relic Defense, don't get me wrong. But as you say, if there was more, if there was more drops, like rather than just one specific drop uh, per boss, I think it would be a lot more enjoyable. Uh, more mounts or something like that, special items that the bosses you can only get in the relic defense would be cool as well. Um, I actually don't have that many crystals. I thought I'd have a lot more than that, but sadly it, it doesn't look like I've, I've got as many as I thought I was going to get. Uh, right, so let's go in here. Uh, so Exile of Sin, if you're still around, buddy, are you want to come and join the game or before I, well, I craft this stuff? Let's see. What are we going to do? We can get a helmet. So which helmets have I not got? I've got that one. I know I've got that one. So we might as well craft the Rift Lord Antler Hood, which I definitely don't have, which is 1,200 crystals in on itself. So that's all my crystals gone. 
all of them gone. We may as well craft some of these scrolls. There we go. And yeah, we're good. We're good to give it another shot. Um, depends if anybody's going to join us. I will just... Helping someone in a tomb at a minute. Absolutely no worries, buddy. I'll just go for it again. I, I have the goal of getting through this thing. So we're actually... We were, we were so close there. I can't believe how close we got. We were just so flipping close. Oh, excuse me. Right. Let's try that again. Uh, how much space have we got in our inventory? We're doing all right. We got quite a bit of space in there, so we're actually doing all right. Now, I don't plan on live streaming for all that much longer, probably another 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and then I'll call it quits, so we may only have time for one more. And if, if anybody wants to join me in the next, next live stream right at the start, then you're more than welcome and we'll pop that on there. By the way, guys, um, for anybody who's watching this video after or who anybody's watching it right now, we do have a Discord. Uh, which is where I know Exile of Sin from. Actually, I've done videos with Exile of Sin on Great White's channel. Um, but if you want to join the Discord and come and chat to us about Portal Knights or just anything, really, um, I'm on there most days. Uh, Exile's on there most days as well. There's some really cool people there. The link's in the description below right now. So if you want to come and join us, come and join the Discord. It's quite small right now, but we are growing it. I've only just recently started it, so we're already at like 30 people, something like that. Not that I'm counting. It's the people rather than the numbers that matter to me. And the people right there are awesome. So, uh, yeah, come and join. Come and come and have a wee chat, and uh, we'll see you, see what happens. Again, if you're watching this back from non-live, then again, you're welcome as well. And thank you for watching the video. Whew, let's do this again. Let's try and just speed up this time. Let's just blast through it, and get some souls and whatnot. Uh, oh, this is the one I started on before. Is this just going to be like a rehash? <laughs> What's going on? So we'll open this up. Uh, get chest number one. Again, I'm just going to blast through this. Took a little bit of time to warm up uh, my voice, but I'm ready to go. I'm ready and rearing. Love live streaming. Are you part of the devs team? I am not part of the devs team. No, no, I'm not. I'm just a really big fan of the game. Um, I really do enjoy the game. I tweet about it a lot and speak to people online about it a lot and and uh, when you do that, you just get to know people and you get to know the right people and stuff. And But yeah, I can guarantee guarantee you that the devs are working on stuff right now. I promise you they are. I don't know that for definite. Nobody's told me that. But I promise you they are because they always are. They're always got something up their sleeve. But yeah, no, I'm not part of the dev team, but that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be really cool. Sadly, I know nothing about developing games. I only know about playing them, <laughs> as most of us probably do. Let's hack into this. Let's get these beautiful crystals right here. I'm trying to think where um, where chest number two is. No, I got I got both the chests. What am I talking about? I got both the chests. It helps me sometimes to say that I've got one and two, which I never did there, which is why I thought, oh, I've not got any of the chests. But yeah, no, we're good. We're good. I've got both of them. Uh, let's just head out. I'm not going to bother killing that one soul slime over there, or two of them. They can uh, make more slimes and, and live a happy life together. Let's go this direction, right here. Right this one, boom. Let's see which level this is. Oh, this one's super easy. This one's super easy, which is what I said before, but it's true. It's so true. This one is super easy. Uh, let's see. So, um, just out of curiosity, anybody watching, what platform are you playing Portal Knights on? If you are indeed playing Portal Knights, are you playing it on a console? Are you playing it on a mobile? Or are you playing it on a PC like I am right now? Although I do have it for pretty much every console. Uh, in fact, I do have it for every console and I have it on the mobile. So I think I've got every version of Portal Knights you can possibly get. Not that I play it on the console all that much, but um, yeah, that's, that's how much I enjoy this game. It's just so good. And it's actually a really fun game if you know if you've got a family like kids and stuff that are old enough. That's so fun playing with your kids. They seeing them enjoy the same game you're enjoying. It's an amazing experience. It really is. And uh, let's open. What, why do I keep saying open? Let's open this up. No, we're hacking into the wall. That's what I wanted to say. Let's hack into the wall, not open it up, <laughs> and get those crystals. 
Uh, I'm also a big fan of the game. Like to enjoy it with my girlfriend. I look to I look forward to more content. Also, um, I appreciate that you produce content. Oh, thanks so much, man. That really means a lot to me. It really does. Uh, it's always a nice feeling when somebody says that they you know appreciate you or they enjoy your content and stuff. So yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Whoa! Where'd this guy appear off? Get out of here! Get out of here, you! Get out of here! You were not welcome in that moment right there. I was I was caught off guard with a lovely comment, and you caught me off guard there. Um, right through here. Oh, but we didn't do this. We didn't get this one last time, so I've noticed that they're random. So sometimes you don't always get the same levels. Um, so this one we didn't get in the last one we played. That's pretty cool. We got chest number one though. And I know exactly where chest number two is. And we'll do that in just a second. What I don't get about these these levels is some of the walls you can hack away. Some of them you can't. And sometimes you can hack away stone. And sometimes you can't. So... It's really knowing when you've got to be able to do it or not, and that's really confusing to me. It's not knowing when I can and cannot hack into the wall. Sometimes there's like a square shape in the wall, and that's an indication that, yeah, you can you can drill in here. And sometimes there's a square shape in the wall, and it's just decoration. So, again, that's a little bit confusing for the player, but uh, it's not to take away from it. I do really enjoy this, but... Um, yeah, that, that part of it I could do without, I'll be honest with you. If you can hack into the wall or destroy the wall, then just let me destroy the wall. But if you can't, then don't, just don't let us on, on any of the levels. That's all, that's all I'm saying about that matter. I just find that a little bit confusing. Um, but that's just my two cents on it. That's just my two cents. And again, it's not taken away from the game. The game is awesome. But um, there's always things that can be done differently or things that can, can be improved. Let's get rid of him. Oh, he died straight away. Beautiful. Uh, two more to go, is it? Yeah, two more to go. And then we can have a little explore in here and just make sure we've got all the crystals we're going to get. Uh, oh, this is another one I never got in the last one. I actually don't really like this level. This is because it's quite time consuming and it uses up a lot of your time. So thank goodness it's in the first batch of levels. That's all I'm going to say. Thank goodness it's in the first batch, first batch of levels. Uh, there's three or four switches you've got to find. So I think first one there. Second one. Yeah, I just seen it through the, through the actual wall. That's awesome. Second one's there. Now sand. And just what I was saying a minute, wee minute ago. I don't count sand. I think sand you should always be able to destroy. And I think in these levels you can. So if you see sand... You can actually destroy it in every single one of the relic defense levels that I've seen. Not relic defense levels, sorry, rift levels. And you can always destroy sand. It's a shame you can't pick it up though. Because if you could pick up all the sand, then you could sell it. and that, Or turn it into white blocks and sell it. And that would give you loads of money. Um, so it's just a shame you can't pick up the sand. You seem to be able to pick up every other block, but you can't pick up the sand. Um... Uh, Awesome, awesome, awesome. I think we've actually found all the switches. We've still got to find chest number two, which is over there. Yeah, I remember now. It's over there. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Sorry, I'm not reading comments. I am literally in time. Time is not my friend right now. I promise I will read comments in just a moment. If you have put any, that is. I might just look at it and be like, oh, there's no comments there, but that's cool. That's cool as well. Some people just like watching. Um, right. Let's go over here. Pick up that. Might as well use that. Although, to be honest, the time it took us to get over there, it probably used up all the time that we just picked up anyway. So, it's fine. Um, now, it's just one more. And we've got loads of time. We've got loads of time. I don't know what everybody's panicking about. We've got loads of time. And we'll head through there. Oh, and I've not been using this again. I need to use my scrolls more. I keep forgetting I've got them. These guys actually drop rift time as well, which is quite cool. I don't know how much rift time they actually do drop, but they do drop rift time. Not an awful lot. Probably you're talking like 20 seconds, maybe. Maybe maybe even less. Maybe 10 seconds. But every little helps as the Tesco model goes. Sadly, Tesco doesn't have any toilet roll right now, but that's not a big deal for me because I've got loads. 
Not that I was one of the bulk buyers. I'm just putting that out there right now. I was not one of the Tesco bulk buyer toilet roll people. I just happened to have some. <laughs> but no, I did not fill a tro trolley full of toilet roll. Um, that's, that's, that's such a crazy thing to talk about, I know. Right, let's head through here. Get these crystals here. So I don't know if you always get that amount of crystals or if you just if it's random. Like the crystals are usually always in the same place, but I don't know if you always get the same amount. And that's that's two chests and one obelisk. And then we can just head up here for speed. And let's just have a look, see if there's any crystals in here that we have missed. I think there's one over here. Whee! Yeah, I think there's one over here. Just on top of this thing. Go away, you! These gazers, man, they're always in my face. Just try to blow me up. It's not nice. So that's one of the crystals there. Is there anything over here? I know there's a chest down there. There's a few chests, actually. Let's open them up. Let's see what we get. I think it's just blocks, but you can sell them. Oh, light bomb scroll. That's cool. Might as well kill this guy, because he drops the rift crystals. Chest number two. You get some strong healing potions. Really handy, actually. And what do I get in here? Traps. Yeah, so you can sell all these things, or you can take them with you. It's up to yourself, but... Um, yeah, I don't really know what all the chests contain that are in you know, the kind of like... I don't know what you call this world. The, the hub, I guess. The hub world, number one. Um, but anyway, I don't know. Um, PS4, PC, mobile, not Switch yet, and don't have an Xbox. Well, you're pretty much the same as me then. I appreciate that you bring atten attention to the community. Keep up the good work, man. Oh, thanks so much again. Uh, th oh, look at all the gazers in this one. Look at them all. That's not normal, is it? I need a screenshot of that. That's weird how many gazers there are here. Look at them all. There's, there's like 30. I think I've never seen that many in this level before. And I've been to this level many a time. I've never seen that many gazers before. That's crazy. And they're all about to attack me, aren't they? Give me your soul. They, yeah, I was going to say, do they even drop souls? But yeah, they do. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we had this one last time. We had this one last time. I wasn't sure where the second chest was, but I know exactly where it is now. So, I did find it, like, really super quick. I just wasn't sure when I was going through it where the second one was. But I know. I know, I know where it is. Oh, I'm getting hit by that thing. Let's head over here. Kill these guys. These are actually the pets, so... You can actually craft a pet of those guys, which is really cool. But again, you need them. You need the right item, or you need the right amount of crystals and souls, which is a lot. Uh, I don't know if you get different different coloured pets. Actually, do you get like a low level pet and a middle level pet? That's something to think about. Maybe you do, because I know you can craft them in every level. I just never really had a look at what colours they are before, but maybe you can. That's something I need to check out, actually. And there is achievements. If you're an achievement hunter, there's achievements for low-level rifts and um, middle-level rifts, I think, for crafting all the armor and potentially finding all the chests as well. But I need to look into that. I just remember there is chests or achievements, sorry, if you're on Steam and if you're on Xbox. And there's trophy, obviously, if you're on PlayStation 4. Pretty sure there's some for the rifts. That uh, was something people complained about, actually, when um, Portal Knights released their latest DLC. Uh, There's a few people, a few comments on Facebook I've seen that people weren't too happy with the fact that there was no trophies or achievements to do with the Relic Defense. And I completely understand, because I'm a bit of a trophy hunter myself. Um, but yeah, it's a shame that they didn't add any in. Maybe they will in the future, who knows? Let's go through here. Ah, this one, again, is a nice easy one. This won't take a lot of time at all. Chest number one. Gonna get hit by this. That's okay. Jump up here. We're safe. 
And chest number two. And then don't forget about the obelisk. I always forget about the obelisk because I'm focusing on the chests. But you can't forget about the obelisk. And... Oh, kill this guy because he gets right on my way when I'm hacking at these crystals. Try not fall through the world. Again, there, I can, I can, I can attack this one and get through. No problem at all. But other ones I won't be able to. I need to get rid of some of these items. So I'm actually running out of space and I don't want to run out of space when I'm trying to collect crystals. Anybody else want to have attack? Anybody else want to have a go? Here we go. And cool, now we just have the top three levels. Oh no, we've not. Why is there so many levels in this one? There wasn't this many before. I'm sure there wasn't. That's insanity. Was there this many before? Does it change how many levels there is? I think it does, you know. I'm beginning to think it does anyway. I've never really thought about it before, but... There definitely was not that many levels in this hub before. I am almost certain there wasn't. Uh, switchy switch. Where's the switchy switch? It's somewhere in here. And I can jump up here and breathe. Breathe! Oh, there's it. So we got the switchy switch. I do love the underwater effects. Like, just the sound underwater is really cool. Um, like it's like, you know, kind of echoey and stuff like it would be if you were underwater. I really think that's a nice touch. Let's go down here. And, ooh, try not to get killed. Just speed through here. These guys actually do drop quite a lot of souls, so I may just, I may just kill them. <laughs> I may just go for it. Give me your soul, punk. But I don't have that much time. Why am I wasting so much time on this? Need to use a rift scroll. I think there's a door. Yes, there's a door. There's a. There's always a door. There's a door. And so I've got chest number one. Is that right? The question is, where's chest number two? And why can't I remember where it is? Is it just because it's obvious, or is it not obvious? I'm gonna assume it's because it's obvious. Awesome, 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 awesome. We're running out of time. Oh, we're running out of time. Let's go through here. Is there a chest through here? Where's the chest? Oh, wait, I know where it is. I know exactly where it is. So I remember thinking last time I played this level, I was like, where's the chest? And I think it's actually just back here. It's like really obvious where it is. It's just around here, I think. Yeah, there it is. Sneaky, sneaky, I know. Um, but yeah, that's where it is. Probably would have been faster just jumping off the ledge there. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Maybe if I know, I just need to get straight back to the start. Maybe I should just start jumping off of ledges. That's exactly where I'm going wrong. Why have I never thought about that before? Wow, why am I so crazy and always think about stuff at the last second while the damage is already done? Right, let's head up here quick. I will have enough time to get up there. Get these crystals. I am super running out of time. That's the problem. We can get through to the next level, but the problem is we're not going to have all the trophies. Um, we're not going to have all the chests. Sorry, I was talking about trophies before. We're not going to have all the chests. And not if I try and hack at the crystals that way with my bow. Oh, it's like I'm trying to do everything in my power to slow myself down right now. Um, three. That's what is the magic number. Right. Go up here. Ooh, I almost fell. I almost fell. Oh, yes. Yes. I would love to recover some rift stability, please. Thank you very much. And I'll get even more over here. Because this obelisk. Might as well replenish my scrolls of revelation. Head down here. Almost fell through the map. And chest number two. And then again, I'm just going to jump down here. I could have fallen off the map. But I'd say it's quicker just jumping down there. 
Now, where have I got to go now? Where have I got to go now? That's that chest done. No, that's that rift done. Let's head over here. There is a rift cube up there, so I can get that in a second. Oh man, we just have to get through this level. I might have to leave some crystals. I want to just try and get through this level. Let's just try and find the chests if we possibly can. I don't think I'm going to do this one, though. No. not going to lie. I don't think I'm going to do this one. There's that many blinking wit things to go into in this one. And these are quite long ones. Like, they're not long, but they're not difficult. But um, they're quite big maps. So it's going to take a bit of time. And I'm probably wasting too much time killing things as well for their souls. But I do need them. Oh, there's a cube. There's a cube. There's a cube. That's exactly what I need. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Didn't have that much time on, though, does it? It really doesn't. And if you find, like, two or three together, then yes, it does. But if you don't, then what do you do? Uh, have I only found one chest? I think I have. Oh, I know where the other one is. Oh, such an awkward place to get to as well. Let's kill this guy. Oh, why is my throat so dry? Chest number two. And we are super running out of time right now. So luckily there is a rift cube. Just as we exit out here. Exit, please! Uh, there's, a, oh, there's a rift cube over here, and there's one over there as well. I think we'll be alright. I think... Did I do them all? So there's one. Two. And which ones haven't we done? Have we done them all? Oh, maybe we have. Okay, cool. I didn't think we had, but we're good. Might as well get these crystals while I'm at it and try and open up these chests then. Let's not waste as much you know much time on it, but let's just get some crystals. I'm just trying to make sure I have, because I'm sure I've seen way more portals, but maybe not. Maybe just the layout threw me or something like that. I don't know why I was panicking. It looked like there was way more than there actually was. But the cool thing is, we're finding these chests as well, and I'm finding out what's in them. Is this one going to be the potions one? Oh, dexterity flask. Hey, that's interesting. Don't mind that. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. So, um... Low tier orange, me pink... Oh, sorry, sorry low tier... Low is teal... Orange is middle and pink is high rift. So there is three different pets. Wow. Okay. Cool. I can get behind that. That's three different pets to collect. That's cool. Don't know how easy they are to get in the other ones, but um, I know it's not easy to get in the high one anyway. Uh, right. What are we doing? We're going through here first. I was going to try and speed through this, because we were doing super well before. And I'd like to continue that streak. So let's go through here. There's a chest through there, and I can never remember which exactly way to go for anything here. But I might as well go through here. I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same as what I did during our last playthrough of this. But um, I'm just going to stick with what I know. <laughs> Oh man, stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what we did last time because the chest is up here. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. It's through here. Although, is it through here? No, there's an obelisk through here. Sorry. I knew there was something through there. The other chest is a bit harder to get. I'll take these, because these are, again, super handy. So we might as well take them. And then do we go through the door? We might as well go through the door. I was just trying to think of what we did last time. But we actually had loads of time left at the end of it last time. So I notice I'm not using the scroll right now, because I know we're not going to need it. And it means I can use it during the next one as well. A bit sooner. 
So we've done that. Do we go down here now? Yes, that's what it is. The last obelisk is down here, as is the last chest. Awesome. We actually got through that really quickly, and I keep using the revelation potions, or scrolls, sorry, and I don't mean to. Because clearly I don't know where the number four is on my keyboard. And I think that's it for in here. I'm not too bothered about lingering about. So let's go through here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, here we go. So Midway Rift Forge. So we can have a little, a little breaky break. Um, now I'm curious as to how much the pets are to craft. So let's go through here. <coughs> let's have a look. So the bow, the crossbow of mourning, is 330 rift souls and 2100 rift crystals. Not as much as I thought it was, which is cool. That also gives us multi-strike chance and 7% dodge chance, as well as extraction, which is the ability to extract crystals from enemies. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I've got the rift ring already, the rift ring of restoration, which gives us emergency healing uh, plus one, apparently. It's quite a cool thing to have. Don't know if I'll ever use it. And the pet is 330 Rift Souls plus 2700 Rift Crystals. Um, so it's quite expensive. And I guess there's going to be like a, a trophy for every one. So high Rift Trophy, low Rift Trophy, and middle Rift Trophy. Again, loads of things I don't have. But I've got most of the armor. I do have most of the armor now, which is pretty cool. Let's see what I can sell to this guy that I picked up in all those chests. Hey, buddy. So what are we going to sell to him? We're going to sell him some stone blocks. Just cause. We're going to sell him some polished dark wood. Again, just cause. And mushrooms. Mushroom, 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 mushroom. That used to be a song that we went around our school. I don't know if anybody else knows that. Uh, Aloe seed, sell. We'll sell a light bomb scrolls? What, what do those light bomb scrolls do? I mean, is it like it sounds? Do they release light? I'm going to keep them just in case. They might be handy. There is one of the levels that there is no. there's basically a severe lack of light. So we'll see what happens. Oh, my throat is getting so sore. Definitely gonna have to end the stream after this one. Uh, now let's get our bearings here. Let's get our bearings as to where we are. So there is two levels over there. So we might as well go over there and kill this guy while we're at it. Hey, buddy! I need your crystals, man. Get us them. Get us those crystals. Replenish, nice. Although I might have used that too early. And I should have used a rift scroll to start off with, but anyway, never mind. Let's go in through this one. Oh, I've never been in this one before. What is this one? I have never been in this one before. Oh man. I don't like things that I don't know. And that means I'm not gonna know where the chests are in this one. I guess it's good to learn, but this is it must be like a super rare level or something, because I have never been in this one before. There's plenty of crystals in it, though. I don't know where I'm heading. <laughs> Hopefully, these chests are going to be in a really obvious location. But probably not. Maybe there's some... Oh, there's one. Cool. Alright, I can... I can deal with that. Is there something around here? Oh, I see it. I see it. I see chest number two. Whew. I was a little bit panicky there. I'm not gonna lie. Like I didn't know where I was going. But yeah, that was they were pretty they were pretty easy to find. And I've not opened that door yet, so who's still left alive? There we go. It was quite literally the guy that was stood right next to the door. And now to test my theory about what's quicker. I'm just going to jump off the edge. Oh no, I can do it right there. Oh, I did it anyway. I was going to say, I can do it right there. Um, but yeah, 
I've not seen that one either. No, I know. Tell me about it. It just completely came out of nowhere. I was like, what? What do I do in this one? But actually, it was really easy. <laughs> it was quite a quick one. If, if anything, I hope to get that one more often. Because that one was super easy. Let's go through here now. Ah, this one's alright as well. Again, I'm wasting time with these guys, but you do need the souls. So it's not really wasting time, I guess. But, um, yeah, you do need them. I've already got 1,100 crystals, which is a really awesome start. And I think it's a good good place to be at this stage anyway. I don't know if you've ever had more at this stage or not, or if anybody's ever had more at this stage, but yeah, a really good place to be at this stage. In my humble opinion. And we've already got the door open, which is cool for chest number two. We have to kill these guys. These guys actually almost killed me last time because like, I wasn't paying attention to my health. They almost killed me. Chest number two has been found. Awesome. And obelisk. Now what you can actually do is you can head back to spawn. But it doesn't take you back here. It takes you back to spawn of the hub. So if you're going through levels that are like further away... Then you're going to the wrong spawn, and it slows you down more than speeds you up. Oh gosh, what's this one? I think I know this one-ish. Not really. Although I have found a chest, so I guess I do know it in some way or another. Maybe like muscle memory. You know what I mean? Like muscle memory is an amazing thing. Maybe I have Portal Knight's memory. That I'll, even though I don't remember it, my body will just tell me what to do. <laughs> That would be cool. It'd be a useless talent, but that would be cool. I'm just trying to think, where's chest number two? Hey, bud. Fallen soldier. Has been fallen again. Ooh, there's a red switch over there. Don't mind if I do. And I, oh, I keep doing that. I keep using the scrolls of revelation. I need to move them, I think. I need to swap them about. Open that up. And in turn, open this up. Oh, yes. I remember this one. So I was talking about, like, squares in the wall before. This is the prime example. You can hack into this one. But, I mean, any other one with brick, and probably not. But this one, you're good to go. You're good to hack away. Uh, again, I wish it would just make up its mind about what is okay to do and what is not okay to do. Because it's really confusing. Uh... There is a switch somewhere that I haven't pressed. Where's the switch? Die, Skelly. I would really love to be able to gather bones from in here. Like, that would be amazing to gather bones. Remember I was looking... Well, I don't know if you watched the live stream before. Anybody else watched the live stream before that was on here? But, um, yeah, there was. I was looking for bones for ages. Like, big time. Looking for bones to craft boss spawners. And I could not find them, and this would be really good if you could gather bones here, but um, sadly you don't. There we go, beautiful. Let's head out here. I think we did alright there. And there's a crystal. And I've not used the scroll again. Blue and Eck. We use the scroll, there we go. Uh, any other spawns or any other teleports that I've not been through. I guarantee you there will be. I just don't know where they are. Oh, there's a couple up here, actually. Oh, this was the level I failed on last time. Was this the level I failed on last time? I think it was, because I couldn't find... No, was it? I don't remember, to be honest. Oh, this is the one I hate. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go straight through it. I'm just gonna speed through it. I've got to kill these guys, because unfortunately I have no choice. But I'm just going to try and speed through this. This one you can waste so much time on. And I'm, st I'm still going to collect the crystals. I mean, obviously. That's a given. But uh, I'm going to try and go as fast as I can go through this one. Without battling like all the mobs up, up above. Because that's just a wild herring is what it is. Is that the right term? When it lures you into like a trap of, of thinking you need to go someplace and you can't go it. And it turns out you have to go into a different place. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right term. Maybe wild herring is not the right term. But something like that. 
It's definitely not wild herring now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. Oh, I was just shooting my worm. Oh, what is he doing? Is he doing looking all like a mob? How dare he? Open that one up. Hey, dude. Hey, fallen soldier. Don't mind me. I just need to kill you. Don't worry about me. I'm just here to kill you. Right, is that the door open? Yes, it is. Beautiful. That'll be both doors open, technically. So let's get back up top because now the second door will be open. You get through it as quick as possible. Try not jump into the ceiling. That does not help things. And let's go through here. Red herring. Thank you. What was I saying? Wild herring? Yeah, red herring. Thank you. It is definitely red herring. I knew it was something to do with a herring. Um, but, oh, this one's quick as well. So let's go here. The two chests are practically right next to each other, which is actually really handy. And we'll go through here. And I think there's a switch, isn't there? We have to find a switch as well. And there is things I can collect here. Do I collect them? Oh, man. I'm guessing not. I'm guessing not. We're just going to have to go for it. We're running out of time. Oh, I, can, I might as well just get these ones. I mean, maybe this is me being greedy. Maybe this is going, what's going to make me fail. But I want to collect them. So there we go. We collected them. Running out of time. Big time. Okay. That was, that was, that was stupid of me. Why did I waste all my time there? This will give us a little bit of extra time, but not a lot. We need to get to that rift. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's just down there. Whew. Right. Might as well collect this crystal while we're here. Is there anything else? I can kill this guy. And I can not kill my pet again. I keep trying to kill my pet. Alright, it's getting it's getting a bit it's getting a bit zappy. I'm going through here. I'm going for it. Getting a little bit zappy for my liking, so I'm going for it. Um, Akuma Yomi, how's it going, buddy? How are you? Having a lovely day, I hope you are. Akuma Yomi, do do do, what a wonderful day. Right. Uh, I hope I wasn't just making fun of your name there. If that's your real name, it's a very cool name. I like it. Um. Uh, how many do we have in here? I'm just trying to think what we're doing here. Now, this is where I fail all the time because I don't know where the chests are. I don't know where switches are. I always fail here. I'm just trying to think. Oh, there's a few switches to press around here. And I don't know where they are. I remember this level as well and I remember struggling finding the switch. Question is, where is it? Because I can't think right now. There's one here. I remember that much. But that doesn't open all the way. Oh, that's handy. I'll pick that up. That's pretty much filled our time completely. Go through there. Oh, come on. We're oh, that was close. We're switch number two. It's got to be easily to, easy to access because not everyone has a double jump. So it's got to be easy to access. And that's where it's opening. We've done the obelisk, which is fine. Switch number two, though. Where are you? I think I could only access it with the double jump last time. Uh, how can we donate? Oh, to be honest, I've not really thought about it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> to be honest with you, I am not sure. I appreciate the offer. I have honestly cannot think right now as to how I would set such a thing up. It's not really something I've ever considered. Um, so I'm really sorry. I will get it sorted for next time if you were that way inclined. Absolutely appreciate the thought of it, though. Really do appreciate the kind thoughts. 
Uh, where do we go, man? I'm like, I'm wasting. Oh, there's it. There's it. There's it. There's it. There's it. Oh, it's sneaky. It's sneaky because it's right next to another switch. It's so sneaky. Why is it being so sneaky? And I've wasted all my time in here. Uh, I do not think I'm getting all the chests on this run either. But we're so close. We are so close. Let's head back to spawn. Might as well get these crystals. As I say, I don't think we're going to make it this time. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You never know. We might have a spot of luck on our side. Who knows? I keep saying who knows. Who knows? I sound really wise. Uh, oh, I know where one of the chests is. It's down here. This is this is in the territory where I don't know, but I do remember that much. So there's one of the chests down there, and I'm about to die. I could use some health. Could really do with some health, actually. Ah. I'm pretty sure I have health potions though. Strong healing potions. There we go. Use it while we can. Oh, and that replenishes really quickly, doesn't it? That's cool. Can I open that door? I want to say that I can. I can! Oh, that's awesome. Again, some of these things you can, can't open. So, why do it that way? There we go. Nice. Although I was hoping to find a second chest by doing that. Unfortunately, we haven't. But still, pretty nice. So the question is, where's chest number two? So I'm assuming chest number two is actually going to be left. And then I'm just going to fall off the edge to get back to the start. No, we're back here. Oh my gosh. Where's chest number two? Is there like a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky bit that I've missed or something like that? Is there an area that I haven't dug into? What is going on? Where on earth is chest number two? Is it through here? Somewhere? Sneaky. Oh, man. Right. Chest number two, where are you? So That's what I'm talking about. You don't know the land or you don't know the levels. And I really don't know where to go for chest number two. Oh, no, that's not it. I thought I found it there. It's got to be like somewhere here, right? Somewhere to jump? Oh, no. I am definitely wasting all my time on these ones. But to be honest, I do not mind... Because as I say, I am learning where to go for the next time I do it. So we always go right here. Let's just go right anyway. Is there, can I hack into these walls or anything? Can I go up here? Oh, I don't know where to go. And I can't hear the chest because I've turned the volume down. So I can't even listen for them, which is how I normally find the other ones. It's not, it's just not here. Wait, is it like here or something like that? I'm going to die. I feel like there should be like a platform. Oh no. Oh, I see it. I see it. I know exactly where to go now. That is awesome. Let's go down here. I actually see it. If we go down there, it's through there. That was that was well hidden. That was really well hidden. All right, now I might as well kill myself. Kill me! Kill me! Take me back to spawn. Take me back to spawn. Why is it not killing me now? Thank you. <laughs> the one time I actually want to die, and it doesn't kill me. Uh, right, okay, we need to gather up some time again here. Whoa! I thought you were something else. I thought you were just one of these things, but obviously not. So there's some time there. We're taking that. That's cool. There's a teleport over here. We've only done two. So this is not a great start. And I feel like there's something over here. Yes, and I was right. There is something over there. So there's a chest. So chest number one has been found already. Which is awesome!
Question is, chest number two. Where are you? Give me hearts. Give me hearts, punk. Now, I was a bit skeptical about dirt like this because, yes, it leads somewhere to chest number two. And we've already found both chests. That's awesome. So just look for things like that. Look for dirt and things because... If it's stacked up like that, then no doubt it means it's probably hiding something. And they've done it that way for a reason. Uh, which is because it's really cool. Where is the switches, though? It's one through here. So that's one switch. I don't know where switch number two is, though. It must be through here. Must be through here. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so we might actually get into the next hub if I'm quick enough. If I use my scroll, for instance, to give myself a bit more time, we might actually just make it to the next hub. Yes, we're not going to get all the chests, but we can actually make it to the end of the rift, which would be really cool. Um, I can see there is a world unexplored there. So that's one, two two worlds potentially unexplored so I do need to speed up uh, three worlds no that's the same two okay so two worlds unexplored but there is some of these rift cubes I'm really tempted to jump in one of the worlds and see what happens but no we're not gonna do it we're just gonna go through the rift we're gonna work deeper into the rift and uh, yeah let's have some fun Let's get me some crystals. If we can get enough crystals for the weapon, I'll be really happy. I've not made the chest uh, achievement, but that's okay. We'll know for next time. Let's jump down here without dying. Woo. We is all good. Now, this thing only opens when you defeat all the enemies. Now, is it talking about the slimes? Or is there bigger enemies, in which case, can I just ignore the slimes? But I think it's probably talking about the slimes. Oh no, I'm talking about that door over there only opens when you kill all the enemies. And I think it's the slimes. Uh, is there, but there's other things as well, that's what I mean. Like, is it all the spiders? I assume it'll be the spiders, actually. Uh, let's kill them all, get all these beautiful... Uh, Rift Souls, because I think I need 300 for the weapon. No way I'm making 300. <laughs> Not a chance. And I don't even have any chests in this one. Oh, no, this is one of the ones... Oh, no, there is chests in this one. I was going to say, this is one of the ones that has the two obelisks. But, no, there is definitely chests. So where's chest number two? Because I will need to know. Must be in here somewhere. Must be in amongst all of this. Let's blow it up. This is where the bombs are handy. Blow up all of this. Is, there, is it worth blowing it up? Is there anything actually in here? I guess the answer is no. It's a red herring. So, used it right that time. So, where's chest number two? Is it near obelisk number two? Oh, I know where chest number two is. Do I? It's down there. I'm pretty sure it's down there. It's got to be down there. I mean, where else would it be? It's got to be down here. Give me that souls. Give me that souls. Who have I not killed? These guys. These guys. Obelisk number two, which is awesome. Where's chest number two, though? Where is it hiding? We've got a bit of time to, fi to find it, so... I'm not too worried. That wall looks suspicious. Nope, we're all good. <laughs> it's like, that wall looks suspicious, but actually there's rakes of those walls. Is chest number two? Don't tell me it's, like, way up there. Or is it down here? I don't see any actual holes to fall into. Hmm. 
Can I jump up there? Or go in here? Nope. Those are just vents, so I can't go through them. That was where chest number one was. Or maybe that's chest number two. Have I found all the obelisks? Because that door's not open. I thought I had. Come on, give me, give me the chest. Is it down here? Is there any, like, hidden little areas over here? No? I am seriously running out of time. Uh, is it through there? Nope. Come on, where are you? It's not through there. This is when I find out it's been through here all along. Oh. My. Goodness. Okay, have we got two bosses here? Or are they just like... No, they're not bosses, are they? I don't know what you'd call them, but... They're not bosses. Can't remember what they're called. Oh, we've still got obelisk number three. No, we can get through there. Where's the chest, though? That's going to super annoy me because I don't know where the chest is for when we actually have to do it. Let's just go through the rift before we run out of time. That's annoying. Lynn, how's it going? How are you? And we're in a crafting area, so let's see if I've missed anything. So, Lynn. Hey, dude, for weapon and armor, I suggest you have more peeps because the drops are multiplied by the amount of people. Since you get one, everyone gets one. Cool. Uh, Exile of Sin, everyone can drop the crystals and souls too to make it easier. So, yeah, I definitely think next time, uh, the next time I attempt this, we'll do it with multiple people. But there's got to be a way to do it with just one person. You know what I mean? Like, there's got to be a way of doing it with one person because... What if somebody, like, sounds sad, but what if nobody has friends? <laughs> you know? What if they don't have friends to play with? Or their friends don't own the game, or something like that. Uh, what? How are we looking, anyway, for the weapon? How are we looking for the crossbow of mourning? Oh, we're, we're, still, we're still ways away, especially with the souls. Not so much with the crystals. Like, I think we can get those crystals quite easily. Um, but the souls, on the other hand, we may have to do some farming... I probably should have done it right at the start. But, uh, yeah, that's a game plan. Do, do soul farming right at the start of the rift. And then worry about the other stuff later on. Let's just get our potions, because I love my potions. I will never pass up an opportunity to buy the potions. I do need to, however, sell some stuff. Stone blocks. 26 stone blocks. What's going on here? Two torches. I've got loads of explosive stuff as well. Now, hopefully I have room to buy all these potions. I absolutely have rakes of these now. Like, I have super... I have a load of potions in my all-items world now. Like, absolutely rakes of them. And, you know, there there is a word on, this, on the vine that you can't duplicate items. Not that I would ever do such a thing. I would never, never lower myself to that. <laughs> but no, if I wanted to... I could easily duplicate these items. Um, and I'm only joking. I have totally done that in the past with other things. But yeah. But again, not, not that I would degrade myself with, with duplicating items. I would never, ever do such a thing. But yeah, totally have. <laughs> Alright, what, what have we got here? We have a floor with teleporters in it. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Might as well try and get as much souls as I can. Because... I guess that's the goal, right? Right now, I want the weapon. So if I can get the souls for it, we are laughing. We might as well go through here. I don't know any of these ones very very well at all. So let's see. I do know some of them, though. So blue and yellow. Just a spoonful of sugar. And everything go down. There's a chest! Whee! Whee! 
And what I'd really like is my mighty potions to be here. Because I'm going to need them. Because I just run into danger. Just run into it. Full head first. And go crazy. Right, we need red down and we need green up. And actually there's some, some cubes here as well, which is cool. There's two of them. Well, what's going on? What's going on? I did put the red up already, right? Hello? What's going on here? Yellow? What are you doing down? Crazy yellow. What's it thinking? I'm not ready for yellow yet. Fallen soldier. Right. Crystals. Beautiful, yummy crystals. Thank you very much. And there's a little switchy. You can tell I'm getting tired when I start speaking, kid. <laughs> like, ooh, crystal-y, switchy. Um, so I'm probably getting tired right now. But I do want to finish this. I want to finish it. Um, right, so we've been in there. We've been in there. What's next? Yellow. You can now go down yellow. You, are, I'm ready for you now. We've got yellow and red. And red, I said. Thank you. So what's through here? Anything hidden behind there? I can hear a chest. I'm pretty sure I can hear a chest right now. I think I can hear a chest. Maybe it's up there. Whoa. Where'd you guys come from? Sneaky, sneaky. Is there a chest down there? There's something down there. Anyway, let's not waste time. There's something down there, though. Something good. Something awesome. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Uh, four. Not three. Four. It's not up here, anyway. So there's no chest up there. So what is next? What's the one we've not opened yet? Oh, I think I can see a chest. No, I can't. <laughs> Thought I could, but I can't. I'm talking nonsense once again. There's the other switch, though, which is cool. And there might even be... Again, loads of souls here. This is good. This is what I want. I want the souls. And I'm taking loads of time. My, why am I not using this? Why am I not using that? Stupid not using that. Anything underneath here, actually? Where's number five? Nope. We're all good. Um, so maybe the chest is in here, then? Or is it through here? That's really annoying me, but I can't be bogged down with a chest. If I can't find it, I can't find it. Um, I would really like to know where it is, though. That's the problem. I would really quite like to know where the chest is. I feel... There's it! There's it! I was going to say, I feel like there's something underneath here. I knew I heard the chest. Um, but I just didn't 100% know where it was. But now I do. We're all good. We might as well head through here. And Great White is playing Portal Knights! My buddy! He's also playing Portal Knights. We should get him on one of these live streams, actually. That would be cool. Uh, ooh, what's that over there? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Is there anything over this way? Again, you wouldn't be able to get over here unless you have the double jump. So, yeah, nothing. Okay, I'm wasting time. I'm wasting time. I should know that if you have to double jump to get there, it's probably not relevant. What's over here? Now, there's a torch there. And it leads over here. Which leads to something. Switch, which is cool. Well, I thought maybe it would lead to a chest, but apparently not. But we need that switch for something. Don't know what we need it for, but we need it for something. Oh, he's about to stream, is he? Oh, that's awesome. Two guys streaming. Two Pearl Knights guys streaming at once. Should We should have planned it out. We should have streamed together. It's actually quite late, though, for like... UK people, like it's after midnight, <laughs> you know, or it's not after midnight yet, but it will be by the time we start streaming. 
It's always hard to find that ideal time to stream. So what is this opening, actually? So is this chest number two? No, it's chest number one. Oh, I thought I'd found already chest number two. Apparently not. It's only chest number one. Oh, is that chest number two behind there? Yeah. Cool. So where's the green switch then? Oh, I see it. I see it. It's over here. Green switch is over here. And now I can get chest number two. We're actually, if we had a bit more time in that last hub, I think we would have got I think we would have done it. We would have got all the chests. We're getting pretty darn close to having enough souls though. So let's just let's just go soul hunting. Let's kill all these guys. We still need to get one teleport. Or one yeah, we still need to do one teleport here to unlock the rift. We might as well take these souls while we can though. We're so close. If I can get that thing I'm really gonna be happy if I get the bow I'll be super happy it'll be all worth it everything will be worth everything give me your soul uh, oh is that like something I can hack into no no we're good this is not one of those levels yes please drop as many souls as you can. Please drop as many souls as you can and as many crystals as you can as well. I will be very, very happy. Get all these crystals. Oh, there's more guys. Yes. Give me the souls. Give me all of these souls. Have I got enough crystals yet? No, I don't. If I can get enough... And I can just ignore. <gasps> is this a teleporter? No, is this a is this a spawner? It is totally a spawner. Guys, this is this is what we needed. This is exactly what we needed. But we don't have enough crystals. But we can get some souls here at least if we can get enough time. We don't have enough time, do we? Gosh darn it! Right, let's destroy the spawner. And hopefully get some time, get enough time to get all the crystals. We just don't have enough. And there's probably something down there, to be fair, for me to collect. But I wasted that opportunity. We only need 30 more souls? Yes, that's exactly what we needed. 30 more souls and like 100 more crystals or something like that. Is there a red button for me to press? Anyway, let's get out of here. I should probably teleport back to back to the start. Where is the start? And I can see it. The red door is there. Let's just not wait, worry about it right now. Let's just get through here. Get into the next area. Because we'll probably get all the souls. Oh, there's something under there. There's something under here. It's going to extend our time. And we can use number eight. Woo! All right. Now. Oh, hey, great. Is, is he with us? Oh, great. Why is with us? How you doing, man? I was literally just talking about you. I was talking about you. Yours must have been burning. I was like, what a great guy. Great white is. Uh, my stream is watching your stream. Oh, so nice. Thank you so much. That's the problem with me not being on Twitch, though, right? So, like, we could properly stream each other. If that makes sense. <laughs> so, the goal right now is great. For you joining us a little bit late that's okay all good my friend um is to get as much souls as we can and to get as much crystals as we can and i think we're on the right path we're so close to getting enough whoa we're so close to getting enough for the weapon that i need but i just don't think we're gonna have enough time to do it i don't want to sound pessimistic or anything like that but i just don't think we're gonna have enough time Could have got those crystals there, but right now, I think there's some more areas. Oh, holy cow! You're doing great. Oh, <laughs> thanks, man. There's a there's a cube. 
There's a cube. We can extend our time if we can get as many crystals in here and souls and stuff as we can. Oh, he slowed me down. He webbed me. There's one right there. There was just a soul just sitting there for the taking. And there's another one. Now, does anybody know if we're at the end or is there still a little bit to go? Because if there's still a little bit to go, I think we'll make it. Yes, please give me this. Give me this cube. Give me this beautiful cube. Give me something to destroy. Give me something. Give me some crystals. I have a funny feeling we might be at the end though. And I really hope we're not because we're only nine crystals off and like 50 shards away as well. Come on, there's got to be something we can kill for souls. Give me two. Oh, stingy. Give me two. No, these guys only dropped one. Proper stingy. What I might be able to do is... No, I'm not even going to risk it. I was going to say, what we might be able to do is quickly go into another world, get some souls, and then get some crystals. But no, that's, that's way too risky. That's crazy talk, actually, if you think about it. That's proper crazy talk. What was I even thinking? Right, let's just go through. We've not got enough. Uh, oh, we're going deeper into the rift. This is good. We're going deeper. It's not the end of the rift. It's not the end. We're going deeper. Ooh, I'm excited. Floor 10. Oh, yes. It's not over yet. It's not over till the fat lady sings, my friend. Or my friends. And we are laughing now. I think we've done it. I think we'll definitely get enough to get this weapon. Six souls to get. I know. I know. It, it was, right? It was 330 souls. I'm not making that up. I'm, I know we checked it and I can't remember. But it was like 330 souls. I'm sure of it. And it was like 2200 crystals. I think. Oh, hello. What's through here? Beautiful. Oh, we got enough souls, guys. We have enough souls. If if I remember correctly. That's exciting. This just means we're going to get our bow. We are going to get our bow, hopefully. Um, and awesome. The bow will really help us out for getting the pet as well. What's down here? All these levels are not new to me, per se. But they're pretty new to me. Whoa! If, if I needed souls? Like, this is a smorgasbord of souls. Right here. Just happening right now. Souls galore. And we even got both chests in this level, which is really cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Souls galore. That is awesome. Six souls to get you. 330. So we got our crystals, we got our souls. I don't know so much about the crystals, though. So we might as well get as much as we can. Get back here! Just what, what are you even doing? What are you doing, bro? Running away like that. You know, take it like a man. Take it like a man. Radio, what have we got going on? Oh, I don't like this one. I don't like this one. Let's start off at the top and work our way down. So there's like hidden switches and stuff. The idea is you've got to find the hidden switches. I can never find them. Or not not easily anyway. It always takes a while. I think that painting is a hidden one. Switch number one. Get lost, poison spores. Painting. Open says me. And it's just got some crystals in there. It's good. We needed that. Kind of hoping it would have a switch as well, but never mind. And some of these bookcases might even open, like sneaky bookcases. Oh. Are you going to let me through, or can I actually get through here? There's something there. I'm not making it up, right? Like, there's something there. <laughs> How do I get to it? There's a crystal that is desperate to get over to me, and he can't. How on earth do I get down there? Or maybe it's from the bottom you jump up. I don't know. 
But that's why I don't like this level. Because I just never know what to do. So we got one red switch. So let's go down here. And we can't look up, so it's definitely not that. Oh, there, I see the red switch. Okay, so we found both red switches. That's awesome. Both red switches pressed. So that door is open now as well. And what number chest is this? Number one. Okay. So we got hidden sneaky bookcases and some not so sneaky that are just there to, to annoy me. But we do have number red or number red? We do have the red door open. So. Awesome sauce. That is this level and we don't have the second switch yet. But that's not a big deal. I'm not too fussed about that. At this present time anyway. I'm honestly not too bothered. I think I am actually. I'm very bothered. I'm bothered by this set of books that are over here. That make it look like you can do something with them and you can't like what's in there and why can't I get in there because this books are in the way that's really annoying <laughs> why can't I get in there maybe I have to go behind it maybe it's something up here probably not though because the only way you can get up here is double jump and you've got to be able to do it without double jump. But it's just so much easier with double jump and the wings. But there's a, there's a switch we haven't found. And there's it. There's it. A proper sounded like from Inverness there. There's it. Right enough. Rubber bumpers. That is totally an Inverness thing to do. So that, that the hole in the wall was just, just for a crystal. Just a single crystal. Do we have enough for the weapon? I hope we do. I'm pretty sure we do. Or was it 3300? Hang on, was it 2300 or 3300? Because if it was 3300, then we've got ways to go. But if it was 2300, then we're there. I just don't know. Ooh, I like this. I like these doors, they're cool. Open up. Ah, uh, there's a the switch. Awesome. Don't know what it does yet, but I'm sure it's for something. Now, why is it giving me a red flare? Is there a dark room somewhere? Most likely. It usually only gives you a red flare if you're going to need it to see. Or maybe it doesn't. Um, oh, there's loads of crystals over there. Look how many souls we got. We've got, like, an overabundance of souls now. Too many. Can't go that way. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. I will just help myself to that. And I'm guessing the other switch is over in this direction right here. There it is. Woo. Woo. Get, get out of here. You should have died ages ago. Now it's open. It's open. Still don't know where chest number... Oh, gosh. Now I know why I need the flares. That's an explosive bomb. Where are the flares? Red flare. That's only one? Must have some else. There we go. No, that's explosive bomb. Where's the flares? Red flare. Oh, there they are. Blind as a bat, right? What's this... Throw them around. We are sufficiently lit up. <laughs> oh, there's a switch down there. No, is that a switch or a door? There's a door down there, so there's a switch. I was going to say, if there's a door, where's the switch? But there it is. And that was a bit risky, but I took the risk and it paid off. Chest number two. No, number one! What? I thought I had chest number two there for sure. Oh, I fell. Oh, that's not a big deal. We can just go back to the start. But yeah, I thought I had chest number two. So where's the chest? Is it over here? Oh, hang on. 
We might be on something here. Yes, there it is. I knew it. I could feel it in my bones. There was a chest around here. I might as well just take a shortcut. This is why we have the double jump. <laughs> just take a shortcut straight away. That's where we've been. Have we actually... Have we pressed the obelisk? Or am I just going insane? Like, we have pressed the obelisk, right? Or have we not pressed the obelisk? Hang on. Is it... Floor exit is open. Okay. Alright. Maybe we did press the obelisk. I was just getting a wee bit... Confused by that. I'm just worried we're going to need 3,300 crystals rather than 2,300. Please say it was 3,300. Let's go for here. Uh, please say it's 2,300, sorry, not 3,300. Oh, go away! Oh, is there anything through here? Oh, hang on. Yes, there is. Thank you. Now, head over here. There's a green switch. I get this one now. You just got to run along the outside, right? No need to uh, jump around and like a monkey. We can just run around. There's a big drop there. Don't do that. And there's the chest over there. Open and ready just to be plundered. So we're going to do that. Damn right we're going to do that. Chest number one, open. Question is... Oh, this is... um. Where, where'd I go? Where'd I go? No! No! Can I jump it? Do we think I can make it? Well, not if I do that. <laughs> that was so close. Not if I do that. Uh, I'm really running low on time, but I really want to touch the obelisk. Oh no! Whoa! Right. We can make that. We can make this. And there's the other chest. Kinda want to go for it. Can, can, can we have some light over here, please? Can I have some yellow blocks? Thank you. Thank you very much. That's exactly what I was after. And we got chest number two. And now we can just head back down here. This is pretty crazy. We are pretty pretty fine on the wire. I don't think I've got enough crystals, which is really annoying. Is there any crystals, like quick crystals I can get here? It's not going to be enough though. There's no way in hope that it's going to be enough, but... No, do you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just jump down. Geronimo. We're going deeper into the rift. Deeper. And it's actually 20 to midnight. Oh my gosh, I need to finish this off quickly. Instantly met by a red switch. That's pretty cool. Can I jump over here for anything in particular? No. Alrighty. Nothing in there for me. Oh. Lots of things to destroy. Spawner, go away. Go away, spawner. About 20 minutes ago, I would have loved you. But right now, you're just in the way. My heart is set on crystals right now. I'm sorry about that. Sorry if that makes you feel left out. found obelisk number one means there's a yellow switch somewhere we will soon know if I've got enough crystals or not <laughs> let's just put it that way we will soon know uh, obelisk number one stuff to defeat here so let's defeat it I see a guy with crystals on his back give me them give me give me give me And obelisk number two, and we've actually got rakes of time here, so let's just see what we can get crystal-wise. We've still got a chest to open somewhere. And we, I'm pretty sure we got a switch to press. 
Like through there. Is there not another switch or something like that we have to press? What's down here? Oh! Hello! The hollow twin dark prince. Are these like mini bosses? Because if they are mini bosses, they should totally be listed on the wiki. I would appreciate it if you died and dropped something for defeating you, but probably not. Oh, he's dropping loads of crystals and stuff, though. I say loads. He didn't drop all that many. He did drop quite a few souls, though. And is that... This is the exit. Okay, this is the rift. Don't know if I want to go through this rift yet. But I don't think I have a choice now. I think I'm stuck down here. I probably could place some blocks, but you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just go for the lift. Warping deeper? How long is this thing? This is taking a while. Um, and we're at the final forge, so let's just see. We've hit the end. Have we got enough for the weapon I'm after? Yes, we do. 2100 crystals. 3300 or 330 rift souls. I've got enough. That is awesome, and we've still got loads of stuff left. So what we'll do is we'll just craft some stability scrolls. And that is us. That is it. That was exactly what I was after. That is what we're going to do. And that is that was what we were going to do, and we did it. And let's buy some potions while we're here. Hey, buddy. I'm going to buy all your potions Every single one of them. Oh, do I not have room? Oh, no, there we go. And we are going to call it a night once I do that. So thank you so much to everybody who watched. Thank you so much to everybody who commented. I really appreciate you coming and joining the stream. Uh, a bit longer than I anticipated, to be honest with you. <laughs> Quite tired now. Still got loads of stuff to do in the house. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Great Mike for bringing his guys in as well. XL Sin, you were awesome. Um, Lynn, thank you so much, and everybody else who commented as well. I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay, so have a lovely evening, or afternoon, or morning, depending on where you're from. And again, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.